I'm Kathy Roberts. I am the Tidy Tutor, and I promised you one tip a day until September 1st. And I apologize to anyone who has been like waiting for the next one, and it didn't arrive, and it didn't arrive. And um, the reason for that was I got sick. It completely took me out. And, you know, I just wasn't able to. I just wasn't. So here I am trying to make it happen today. I am moving on the 31st. So I just hope that you will cut me some slack, okay, on, on the promise that I made. I never dreamed that that would happen. I'm not somebody that normally gets sick. It just happened. Okay, so here is the continuation of the last two steps to writing it down. See, this step is a little bit complicated. It just, some of these things don't just like, or it's just like this one, like, like say to the do the dishes habit, bam, yeah, that's that. Say the do it now habit, bam, that's that. But some things like desk day, which we're going to talk about right now, or the write it down habit, which is completely intertwined with desk day, that's something that goes into some steps. And that's why I have a course, Tidy Tutor University, because these things don't just happen in two minute videos. If you will, you know, really embrace this, so much will change. Because I know that you know how it feels to be that person that is walking in and all of your girlfriends are waiting to order because it's your girl's night and you're late again. Or you've gotten to bed and you say to yourself, oh no, tomorrow is the day that I have to bring 5,000 cookies to church. Or you're like sitting watching TV and you go, oh, is tonight the dance recital? You know, and it's just, it's a horrible way to live. It's a horrible way to live. And then we end up blaming a whole bunch of people. Well, you know, if so-and-so would have done that and oh, if he didn't, you know, if he didn't leave with my keys, you know, there's always something. But the bottom line is we are to be the masters of our universe. Not everybody else out there's circumstances and behaviors that, that really affect what our quality of life is we need to take the reins of our life and this is part of it the write it down so if you haven't seen the first and second part of this the links I'll include here on this page in the description box or um, you know maybe on the video itself okay so just look for the links to those two for part one and part two of write it down now this one part um, three and the final part to write it down is this so you have written it down. You've, it's not on scraps of paper or on envelopes. It's actually in a planner. It's actually on your smartphone. So you know where everything is. You, ha you actually do write everything down. You know, you've got to look at those other two tips because they're a little bit detailed. You need to know what they are. So now you know you've written them things down. You know what you got to do and you know where they are. But how do you make sure that you actually look at those things? And this is how. It's called a desk day. I've learned this from Pam Young and Peggy Jones, the Slob Sisters, way back in 1989. I started incorporating this and it has rocked my world ever since. It's a desk day. It's a day that you set aside for things that have to do with office. Today we're just going to talk about the desk day, the things that have to do with the office, and your planner. So on your desk day, you scan your week and you look, you, you know, you take a specific time also on your desk day. So you'll say, all right, my desk day is going to be Tuesday and I work best in the morning with a nice cup of coffee. I, I, that's when I'll look at my planner. So let's just pretend that's your scenario. Okay. So it's Tuesday, Tuesday morning, you got your coffee, got your planner, you open it up, you scan your week. And you say, okay, what do I have going on this week? All right, well, Thursday I have to go to the eye doctor. And Friday I have to bring cookies to my daughter's school for a bake sale. All right, well, on, my, on the way to the eye doctor, I'm going to pass Walmart. So I'll stop at Walmart, Walmart for the cookies. Perfect. 
um, oh, look, I even have, I have a birthday party on Saturday for my little son. He has a, a birthday party with a little classmate. All right, great. On I, when I stop at Walmart, I will also pick up a gift. And you'll write that down in those days. Like on the day of your doctor appointment, you'll write down, pick up gift for Jeffrey. Um, pick up cookies for Julie. And then there you go. Now, so that's the way that works with the scan your week. Now, you have a doctor, a dentist, or what would I say, an eye doctor appointment? You have some sort of a doctor appointment on, on that day, on a specific day, too, that you're going to be stopping at Walmart. So if you need to bring anything in particular, like maybe you need a, a, a updated insurance card or insurance number or something, then you'll make a note also in your calendar because it's your desk day, and that's what you'll do. So you'll make sure you're prepared for that day okay so that's that now the other thing you have to do is you have to make sure that you check your planner every day and we have something called prepare for tomorrow it's part of our everyday routine so now this doesn't have to mean that you prepare for tomorrow right before bed that's a whole nother topic okay I'm not gonna go there I'm just gonna just say okay you're gonna prepare for tomorrow whatever time of day that is for you you to and for your prepare for tomorrow you have to look at your calendar what do I have going on tomorrow now you'll see your notes that you made on your desk day and so you look and you say Oh, tomorrow is Thursday, and I see that I have the appointment. Let me put it in the GPS, put the address into my phone so that I make sure that I know where I'm going on my GPS. Um, make a, oh, I remember, yes, I have to make sure I stop at Walmart on the way. Let me send myself a little reminder on the phone so that I know when I'm going to be leaving the doctor's office that my phone will alarm me. I'll just set a little alarm to go off so that I'll be reminded to stop at Walmart on the way home and now you're set for tomorrow you make sure that you have anything that you might need for tomorrow such as your um, you know maybe you need a, a, a new insurance number that you just had a new insurance card or maybe your debit card is a brand new account or something and so you need to update that with the doctor or something like that whatever it is that you need to do for tomorrow you will um, do that tonight and this happens because you look at your planner every day and you look at your planner as part of a prepare for tomorrow routine and because you have made those notes on your desk day every day works out perfectly because you've already done the work this doesn't take a lot of time at all it actually saves you hours and 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 hours okay and it saves you aggravation it saves you worry it saves you time and it gives you an amazing quality of life so there is my final tip for um, write it down so look forward to my next one and thank you so much for your understanding of me not being able to keep my promise i'm kathy roberts i'm the tidy tutor remember to get the other tips they're in the description box right here or they are on the page where this is living if you want to get emails from me because some of these tips are going to be done in written form and not video form and you are not on my email list and you're seeing this via Pinterest or YouTube or somewhere then go to the tidytutor.com put in your name and email and you will surely be in the loop with all of my blogs that I do and everything that I send out to my people thanks so much for being in my world and I'll see you on the next tip <laughs> you got bugs Baking apple pie. If you show your picture, tear clean or clean my underwear. These are the things we do. The house is a mess with all the junk. The sink's clogged up with dinner time gunk. You pick up the phone and call the rotor rooter to make it all work. You call the tidy tutor. Pretty good, uh -huh. don't you?